Hi everyone, in this short video I want to introduce you to TeamSpaces in NoPlans web version. First of all, how do you enable them? If you're logged in with your Apple ID, you need to log in separately to, into the TeamSpaces. And you do this by clicking on settings and then log in into TeamSpaces. And you can use a different email address from your Apple ID here. And I'm already logged in, so I just continue. To create a TeamSpace, once you're logged in, you can click on create and then TeamSpace. And then give it a name. And every team space comes with shared daily notes and weekly notes, and you can use them for different purposes. But first, let's see how you can invite new members. You can click here on the options button, and then at the bottom you see manage members. And here you type in the email address, and then you click on invite, and then you can click on copy link and share the link with the other person. And the team member has to use this exact email address you typed in here. You can see here the status under role. If it's pending, the member didn't join yet. And an admin different from a member can also invite other members to the team space. And also an admin can export a team space. So what can you do with team spaces? For example, with the shared daily notes, you can document your daily stand-ups. And you don't even need to have a real meeting for this. Every team member can just write down a couple of points like what they are working on, what was finished and what are the blockers. But if you have a real meeting, you can also write down the action points which result from this meeting or even the bullet points and meeting minutes. And you can use mentions to assign the tasks to different persons. And in the weekly notes, you can write down, for example, the goals for a specific week, or you can write the review for a past week. For the folder structure, I recommend to use Para, which means projects, areas, resources, and archive. And if you prepend it with a number, you have also the exact order of folders. In the folder projects, you can add notes for the various projects which are currently ongoing. For example, some re marketing channel research or use case research. In this case, this team space is about the marketing team. And once the project is finished, you can move it to the archive folder. Inside the areas folder, you can have subfolders for every area of the marketing department in this case, or engineering team in other cases. For example, for the marketing team, we have one area which is customer development and this is an ongoing area. This has no end date. We will accumulate here information about the customers. And in this case, for example, there's one node uh, for jobs to be done, one use case node and other information which is relevant in many different projects. For example, if we rebuild the landing page, then we will refer to the information in this area or we collect different designs which we liked in different other apps. Also, we have a folder for future projects, various problems, and one note for A-B testing, for example. And in the resources folder, you can collect, for example, links to walkthroughs or links to menus, or you can even upload PDFs uh, for a manual, for example, so the team member can get started quickly and other information like code snippets or API keys and so on. And as I said, the archive folder can be used to move uh, finished projects in here or any other notes which are not relevant anymore.